Hey everybody, John Henderson Pierre, Beer Rambo. What you do, what you do, what you do today? Looking at good people, coffee, oatmeal stouts. And oatmeal stout style is my first time having this. Even though this beer has been around for a little while. Outstanding on Beer Advocate and the Alstom Brothers. The bros, yes, they're still reviewing beers, or maybe not. Hmm. Ray Beer also gives a good score, too. You know I love stouts. 6% alcohol by volume. Some say it's 5.6%. And looking at the bottle, it is, sorry, here, the can, excuse me. Oh, leak, 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 leak. Ah! 6%. I like stouts. Again, I've seen this for some time now. I don't know why. Look at that muddy coffee color. Oops. Yeah. Mmm. Maybe a breakfast lager, I guess. Mm. Nice looking head on top of this. A very, very dark for a stout. Dark, 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 dark. Mm. Definitely get some hints of those coffee flavors in this beer. I bought a six pack of this at the the hookup store, a friend of a friend of a friend who has the hookup. And uh, he gave me a pretty good deal on this beer. And I said, sure, why not? Try it. So I'm going to drink, do a review of this, and then the rest I will save for maybe till the winter months. I know it's not a beer you should drink in the summertime. I've had quite a few already tonight. Some mingling traditional lager. Should have gone with the high life. You know what the fuck was I thinking? Anyhow, moving on. It has a very strong coffee scent to this beer. Mmm, smells good. 6%. Mmm. Here we go. I like stouts. Maybe this might be in the same category as with the extra stout by Guinness. Maybe St. Karen is not overly bitter. There's some bitterness to it. Has a little coffee flavors to this. But it's pretty reasonable. Kind of a little caffeine, kind of perky up. But Good malt notes to this beer for good people. Mm. What I hate about these damn breweries when they do this damn writing is always can barely be good people, drink great beer. That's their logo. There you go. Be good people, drink good beer. I agree with that. This could probably be as a good breakfast beer to start your day with, you know, some eggs and ham and cheese and an omelet and this biscuits, whatever. And then, hey, why not a breakfast beer? This could be one of those. Why not? Anyhow. Definitely some hint of coffee notes on this 
immediately and it's it's really overly present in this stout here I mean this is not of something that's going to guzzle in the temperature just set this at 50 55 degrees I've had this in the refrigerator at 40 degrees so maybe maybe somewhat take it out of the refrigerator and maybe leave it out for maybe a good 10 minutes at best and then pour it down on a table or a counter and then pour it and see what you're getting so brewed with gourmet octane coffee and a four wallop of willamette hops our coffee oatmeal stout but rich and creamy, complex, yet amazingly seasonable. It's especially great after meals, morning, noon, and or night. You know, remember the old saying by IHOP, which unfortunately is closing a lot of their restaurants. Uh, the merger that they had a couple years ago, well, several years ago with Applebee's. Uh, now some of their restaurants are seem to be closing right now. You, know, you got the uh, the mom and pop type pancake shops or breakfast spots or the waffle houses of the world, you know, are kind of buying them up or people rather go to a diner or to a, like I said, a mom and pop breakfast location and get some good delicious breakfast and whatever and then and be on your way, so... Yeah, this would be a good morning breakfast, you know, some hash brown potatoes, hash browns or fried potatoes, something like an egg omelet and bacon or ham or pork sausage. This would be a good beer to kind of go with this. So um, I'm kind of enjoying this stout, you know, I think this would be good for a morning meal or evening beverage. Who drinks in the morning and go to work? Who would do such a thing, right? Anyway, um, I'm kind of going with what uh, Beer Advocate says on this and same with Rape Beer. I think this is pretty, pretty solid. I mean, nice complexity. You did get the coffee hint, coffee uh, flavors in this immediately. It's easy down. Not overly potent alcohol-wise, only at 6% compared to some of the other stouts were about about five, or, well, somewhere five, but you feel that they're kind of maybe a little bit more potent. So this is this is about reasonable for me. So I'm going to go with the rate beer and a beer advocate on this. I think this is outstanding. So I think this is going to be a nine and a half score for me. So this is an A minus or A plus, I guess you want to call it that. This is quite good. So yeah, start your day in the morning with a little stout. Why not? Anyhow. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Jay says I'm gonna <laughs> I get frustrated when I'm doing beer reviews because I'm like every time I get interruptions, but not tonight. Wife's still at work, so life is good. Anyhow, if you had this coffee oatmeal stout, it will learn deserves that nine and a half score, uh, which would be an A plus, whatever. Leave your comments and statements on the bottom. John Anderson Pierre, the beer ramble. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Oatmeal and coffee. Start your day. Mm -hmm. Muscles right there.